friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nastin Padasale. So this video is a part two video. If you didn't watch the part one video, I just uh, explain a few important answers for few important questions. Just refer that particular video. And that was uh, in this particular uh, video, I'm going to explain a shift two question paper, friends. If you are from shift one, then I already uploaded a video with, for you. You can check that particular video. Next, there was a question with regard to Calvin cycle enzymes in which set the catalyst. So if you want to more in depth analysis, you can refer this particular chapter. That is chapter number 27 which is given regulation of Calvin cycle under abiotic stress. Here they had detailedly given a role of each enzyme in which particular uh, pathway they catalyze. Okay. So in this particular article you can refer. So next match the following. So profilin is an actin binding protein that is involving dynamic turnover and reconstruction of actin cytochrome. Next, the thymosin is a hormone which is secreted by thymus and its primary function is to produce a T cell. Next, farmin. Farmin is involved in polymerization of actin and it associated with a fast growing end that is bar wind of actin and this farmin is a row dependent GTPs. Okay. Whereas the scofflin is actin binding protein that regulates filament dynamics and so farmin is involved in actin polymerization and scofflin is involved in actin depolymerization. Next, find the correct statement listed below. CT uses UV rays is the wrong option because CT uses X rays. Iodine 1 23 is used for thyroid treatment. It's absolutely correct. If you take iodine 123, it is harmless to thyroid gland. That's why it is used for the treatment of thyroidism. As if you take iodine 131, it is destroys the thyroid cells. Okay, so please make sure about that. Next, MRA uses non-ionizing radiation. No, unlike X-ray, CT, and PET, MRA does not use ionizing radiation, uh, which means uh and also here the uh, MRI generally uses strong magnetic field and radio waves. I don't know MRI is using non ionic radiation or not but MRI technique generally use a magnetic waves and uh, magnetic field and radio waves. So the correct option is iodine uh, 123 is used for thyroid treatment. Thyroid treatment. Next choose the correct statement. I think one question has been asked from uh, this particular uh, 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 structure of secondary structure. So here in the Leninger book, they just mentioned beta sheets are more common in protein than alpha helix. No, it's a wrong option because in the book itself, the first title itself, alpha helix are, co are common protein secondary structure than beta sheets. Okay. So the next option is. So next option is with regard to this uh, proline amino acid are abandoned in alpha helix. No, it's a wrong option. Proline amino acid is not abandoned in alpha helix because the proline amino acid generally destabilizes the alpha helix because if you take the structure of uh, proline, it is having a irregular geometry. Okay, so proline is not present. It cannot able to exist in alpha helix. Okay, so the next question is with regard to Match the following receptor with a signaling function. If you take wind receptor, it is responsible for cell fate determination, cell migration, cell polarity, neural patterning and organogenesis during embryonic development. Whereas if you take RTK receptor, it is involved in cell to cell communication and controlling of wide range of complex biological function like cell growth, motility, differentiation, metabolism. Whereas if you take this Jung pathway or JUNK pathway, it is involved in stress signaling pathway. It is implicated in gene expression, neuronal plasticity, regeneration, cell Death and regulation of cellular senescence. Next, identify the secondary structure in Ramachandran plant. I just pick this particular picture from a Leninger. So you should know where the beta sheets are lying, where the alpha helix are lying. So based on the value of a pi and psi angle, uh, they are giving. So with this diagram, it will be very much helpful for you. So just understand where the uh, helix is running. Next, monitor protocol. Uh, monitor protocol is nothing but this what uh, establish your phase of the substance that deplete, deplete the ozone zone. And quite a protocol is nothing but it is involved in reducing the emission of greenhouse gas with exception, exception to ozone depleting substance. Next, the cells that can respond to a signal's best difference, it's called as competence. Competence the ability to respond to a specific inductive signal, it's called as competence. So, the correct option is competence. Next, there was a question regarding to bioaugmentation, asparging, and bioventing. Bioaugmentation is nothing but addition of microorganisms that have the ability to degrade the molecule in a polluted environment. Whereas, asparging means it is involvement of injecting a gas, usually uh, air or oxygen under pressure in a saturated zone in order to volatilize the groundwater contaminant and also promote a biodegradation in saturated and unsaturated soil by increasing the subsurface oxygen concentration. Whereas if you take bioventing, it is a process of stimulating the natural in situ biodegradation of contaminants in a soil by providing air to the existing soil microorganism. It is stimulating the microorganism that is already present in the soil. 
Next, which of the following regeneration does not include de differentiation and de differentiation of uh, re differentiation of blastomere? It includes only growth of precursor. It is morphalaxis. There are three modes of regeneration. First is epimorphosis, morphalaxis, and compensatory regeneration. Epimorphosis means regeneration of some last part or damaged part. Whereas morphalaxis means regeneration occurs mainly by repatterning of existing structure. So during the morphalaxis regeneration, there won't be no de differentiation and re differentiation. And the new growth is very less there is a very new less new growth okay and this morphologist generally includes a growth of precursor cell next compensatory regeneration is a type of regeneration occurs when a some part of organ damage and it regenerates by proliferating like existing tissue like a mammalian liver so is uh, cure like you you know in in a school world heritage site of course yes so in this particular place were originally royal hunting reserve and it was a game reserve for maharajas and british so in 1983 this particular place a place was declared a national park and again in 1985 it, uh, from unesco this particular place was uh, determined and framed as world heritage site so this is what the question with regard to shift 2 if i left out any question then please do tell me in the comment section below so that type the question along with the answer so that it will be very much helpful doing further workout analysis so thank you friends thanks for watching this video